And J7's position across the street, so critical to this push for Exa, able to provide the cover fire alongside those smokes. So now, oh. 2v2 within the compound. And look at that, Chico had a beautiful idea to try to get that pre-nade in, but you just called it. I mean, J7 from across the way was is able to spot any movement that go in through those windows in the front side. Here comes J7 running right across the street. Russell just sitting there. Tommy gun in hand, trying to catch some toes. Oh man, he is just hiding for his life. Does get one shot, gets one knock. Okay, tries to go for the point. Can he get it? No, sir. Knights eliminated. Down to five teams. Level X looking to square up right now with Lazarus in a 4v4 for this dip. Lazarus, Roll Kiss gonna be going for the spray down, looking to mow down some grass right here. Ultron pushing up, grenade! Ultra with the Tommy gun though. Get taken out. Level X getting it done. Ghosts definitely have the worst position here. But the thing is that Nova and Car and Level X are both focusing on each other so well. And Ghost doing such a great job at throwing down those smokes to give them a little bit more sight lines. Buying them some time as well. There goes Carnage Double E down to the play zone. And then here comes Ghost. Finally standing up straight. Trying to catch Rin slipping. Only one member left. AJ 4 Quick lay down. Gets caught by Ultron with a headshot. Now it's just Jagger. Oh, is this Blue Zone going to hit him? Two seconds. Close heel. Get shut down. Ultron from behind with the Tommy gun. Level X versus Nova. Level, Level X. X. Let's get into this fight. The unnamed fanboys could play a huge role with the backstab. The potential right here for fanboys is huge. And you called it. You called it. He just gets a big nade on a J7. Nico, the winning. I mean, this is their up close specialist. Putting it work. Handles the unnamed by himself. He says, Squad, don't worry. I got this building. And he does it perfectly, but you're right. It's all fame boys here on this angle. But he's got to go up against Kill Switch. Can he win that 1v1? He can't. Now it's up to Ran. Ran in a 2v1. Catches Nico. Up to him to get Kill Switch. Kill Switch is half HP. Who wins these? Hip fire. Pre fire is coming out big. Tommy Gun versus M4. Oh. M4 got to do it. 12 kills versus Lazarus is four. Speck is going to eat blue here. He knows he can't go over that hill. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to hit it fast enough, is he? Oh, he's had to sneak in. Oh, this is so crucial for Speck. I don't know if Speck's going to be able to get that first aid off in time. Got it. He does. He does. So that's huge. But Lazarus are going to use this little advantage to the best they can. Ghost knows exactly where they're at. Here goes Speck running on the open. Easy, easy pickup for Sixless. And that's just a matter of where the zone decided to go. Go HH24 gets almost knocked in return, but now they have to push. Oh, the pre-fire, the double peak, sixless. This is one of this is when he's at his best, running in the open, and that's exactly how he does it. Ghost Gaming, not another thousand dollars. Sorry, I know you want that ten chicken dinners, but this one is gonna go over to Lazarus. But they are going to try and commit to this nade way off there from Pappy, a syndicate, the double snake up towards the high ground to find the angle. <gasps> Rad and Brain are going in. Brain's gonna drop though, but a nice nade. The play zone's actually gonna continue to do the work there. But Syndicate now with this high ground position. Fox needs to try and counter this. Needs to try and leverage an angle of his own as Fox is coming around. Rad's got the shots though. They hear it coming one after another into the meat grinders. The M4 goes right at tat tat. But no! Legal is able to step up and just go a little bit bigger. Are you kidding me? Syndicate looked like they were in a prime position to take that. But the Panthers will not go down. Action's not slowing down because Bishop now is in a 1v2 and wow, just making it look Game easy. Literally not taking a point of damage. Bishop just clouded on these. But what is going on? Nova looks so strong and they run into one building and throw it all away. Uh. Happy might out survive Ghost Gaming here. If Jagger goes down to that Molotov, Exet is going to push in hard. Jagger. Does not go out though, except 4v2 situation. Pappy just clinging on to dear life. Oh, Jagger found the tiny little corner to try and hang on that wasn't engulfed in flame. Kill switch <gasps> with the jump. Doing some hardcore parkour. Kill switch. Are you kidding me? Goes off, and that's the opening they need. AJ24 is backed into a corner. The rest of the team is going to come on in. And the play out in the blue from the Panthers, I got to say, they earned that second play, Sute. The amount of surviving and kills that they were able to pick up for themselves feels good. But wow, X set. Talk about navigating chaos. They We didn't talk about them a whole lot till the end. But let's be honest, this was a heck of a win for them.
That was a surgical win for them. It was uh, There was another Sandhawk game where they won, where they kind of just chilled until the very end and picked up maybe a couple kills, and then they got the chicken dinner. And Pappy finally goes out. The Panthers, the Panthers outscored X-Set with the amount of kills they had, fighting their way into circle, and they deserve it, right? To potentially getting themselves another chicken dinner here, their 10th on the day, but getting these additional points to continuing to extend this lead would be absolutely massive for them as they're pushing in now. And here it comes. Chico tries to go for the drop shot, but can get nothing done. And that's just one quick and easy kill. First blood in the server to Ghost Gaming. No surprise there, but hang on, Zute. The fight doesn't stop here. And the Knights are going to just decide to take this fight. They get one opening onto HH. It gets down to 3v3. Trade out of spec over the top spec. Russell goes down. It is now just down to a 1v3 situation just like that. The Knights are out of here. They should just clean this right up. Yeah, Beowulf pushing around. Alucard 1v2 does not manage to get that. And Spec just jumping over the top just for that extra Easy. securities. Players are just going to be falling left, right, and center here. It's to be expected. And Salt looking to not join their ranks as he wins 1v1. HP actually going down. HP 24 missing some shots there. And he's going to be thirsted for it. Jagger is going to come in to help clean it up. But the damage may already be done as the trades are continuing here. Zute. Spec is in the back. The shots are there. It's all going to come down to him as two teammates are down wancho is there is this a 1v1 it is a 1v1 wancho gets that first aid off spec going for that nade bounces off the stair banisters does not hit good jagger calling out to spec where they are jagger can see him jagger's letting him know they're getting the revive spec still trying to go for those nades he knows he can't just push out in the open it resets the 1v2 great nade nice. through the window through the doorway at oh and then third no. sorted, or did wancho hit him Watch it with the grenade back and that kill feed. With Fame Boys being able to get that opening knock, that is the cue they need. Ran. Oh, forget the sh forget the shoes. We're driving right on through, and with the jump shot for good measure. That's we support farmers going down. The nade is there. Lazarus still in play. But to you, they just have to readjust their sights. They know what happens next. Yeah, the, the only thing you gotta be worried about is those grenades. We already saw one grenade coming out. Like, okay, good. They're spreading out. They're sending two of their aggressive players further up. They're not all super clumped behind the shack. And this should be a win for TU unless if Lazarus comes up huge with the util and the defense. Oh, those mollies Ooh. might put a stop. Yeah, forces Fame Boys out into the open. Does not get the no. No, it does. It now comes down to a 2v3 situation and Lazarus gets the thirst. Or will it be like you said before, down around through the blue onto the cliffside? But Cross, just running out in the open. You He's didn't out. Have circle up there. Was that top of the ridge, circle. not in the circle? No, it wasn't. It was slowly closing in on them. And EFC, maybe EFC zoomed in on the map and realizes they got better eyes than I do. That's why they're competing right now in a nope. 3v2 situation for another chicken dinner. TU with some ridge line TPP advantages, but Fears has a molly and a grenade. This should work out huge for the team of EFC. That's one knock, and it's just all down to bugging. Fears coming in hot, pushes over the ridge line, and that is EFC taking the chicken dinner. Well, they're looking to get the money themselves, getting points in the pockets as they're continuing to push. The rest of the circle, we can talk about it later. I want to see how this fight closes out because we know it's going to have to close soon, but not Scott Free for X set. His grave is able to take two. The dinner plate smashing over their heads, but he will drop as well. It all comes down to a 2v6 situation. J7 kill switch, Razor in the pain. Who will it be? Will we support farmers stand strong or will X set show that they are the ape? Predators hunting down their prey here on the plains of Erangel. The pain is going to get flushed into the corner. J7, well, at least for now, Zute, he's got the answer for me. Yeah, it's down to a 1v1 now. We went from a 3v4 down one way, and he goes for the push. Oh, the push, he didn't, I don't think he even pre fired. J7, four kills. J7 coming in huge. The only man shooting is AZ. If T is shooting, they're shooting at AZ. If Dior is shooting, Dior is shooting at AZ. And AZ is still not dead. Fame Boys with the Groza. I think, here it is, Fame Boys. Oh my gosh. There it is. AZ curving the bullets. He's got that magic shield on. He doesn't even have any meds left to heal. How is this man still not dead? Finally. AZ goes out, 4v3 situation, <laughs> TU versus Dior, now it's down to a 3v, oh no, a 4v2, TU not looking too hot right now, as I still can't get past what AZ has done in the past few circles.
Look, the Terminator is not the Terminator by accident. It's all about that never-say-die attitude and Fame Boys and his desire to finally swat that Mosquito. It ended up costing them with position, but he soon may look... No, it's done. GG, Dior Esports take the chicken dinner here. We didn't focus on them quite as much because it really was just the waiting game.